Hi, welcome to the Creative Hand Art Journal. My name is Jill Langdon and today we're going to be working on pansies. You might be asking me, it's the middle of winter, why are you painting a flower? Well, the story behind this is that I went to a store yesterday and while I was walking around I noticed this big rack of flower seeds and vegetable seeds and I got to be thinking about spring. I was very wanting of spring as we just had a snowstorm that dumped five inches of snow and then finished up the storm with freezing rain. So everything in our area has become a winter wonderland. I just got the title in and now I'm going to be mixing some red apple Real green, true green, sorry about that, thought it was real green. Well, it's green anyway. Orange and a little bit of white in order to make a rust color, because one of my pansies is rust. So, this is going to be a trick and a half trying to get the exact color I want. So hold on people, because here we go. We'll take some red, get some green going, get a brownish color. Okay, there it is, it's starting to come. And now for the orange. I don't know exactly how much I need. I'm hoping this will work. Seems to me I'm getting an orange brown. Maybe I need more red. This is going to be as close as I'm going to get to a maroon. And I was noticing the center of this pansy on my packet didn't have a black center. I was surprised. I was thinking that all the centers were blacks, but they're not. They're various colors darker than the shade of the flower itself. So, I learned a lesson today. Well, that's not looking too bad. I like what's happening. Okay, that's one. Another one back here that has rust on it. Um, and this one in the foreground has rust. about 11 degrees out today. So I've decided I'm not going out. 
I'd rather stay where it's warm. I get the house at a good 69, 70 degrees. I'll pretend I'm in Florida. Okay, for a little variety, I'm going to take the rust and add a little darker black to it. This one over here, darker. One more. I have five pansies today. I almost put my brush in the total black paint. Oops. Goodness, I caught myself before I did that. I've taken some plain yellow and did this pansy. And I'm using Royal Violet mixed with white to get this lavender color for this other pansy. In order to make paintings look really interesting, it's great to use contrasting colors. Adds interest and variety. It keeps your eye kind of moving around. And speaking of interest, I have now added a light yellow to my mixture that I already had for the rust. And I'm trying to get highlights on the rusty flower, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to really get, so we'll see. Because I don't want the flower itself to look the same color as the inside. I like that color a little better with the red added to it. Now to be careful that I don't go into the yellow flower. Be very careful. And the whole time I've been sitting here, I've been wondering how I'm going to pull off the two white pansies that are in this design. And I think I'm going to just do the background green 
in order to pull those out because if I do white on white paper it's just not going to show. So I'm going to be taking light green and make a lot of leaves. Maybe I'll mix that with some yellow. Nice spring green. So I'll outline these so I don't inadvertently paint over them. And the green's a good contrast for this rusty color too, so that'll look really nice by the time it's all finished. Okay, I'm taking some white and yellow, mixing it in with my green for my background color which I'm just about finished doing here. And I think that really helped to bring out the white flowers. Okay, this is just about done. What I also thought about was this yellow pansy. Looks like it got some other colors mixed in with it. Looks like it touched the rust. So anyway. That's going to be my yellow pansy for now. Okay, I've also decided that in order to bring out the difference of petals, that I'd used a Sharpie marker and outline some of these lines, which I'll do in all the flowers. And lastly, I could not finish a painting without putting my happy emoji, which has the sunglasses, looking for spring and summer. Here we come. Thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.